Matthew chapter 24, verse 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. I'm going to start off saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Brakar Kadash. We're going to double honest to our apostles and elders, great millstone, and told us the truth. And uh, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there and their families that support the ministry and making anybody's living sacrifice for our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, and what I just read was Matthew uh, 24 and 34. I'm going to read it again. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. And what are all these things speaking about? It's speaking about the prophecies, man. All right, because the Lord, when he was on the scene, man, he spoke to the disciples and he, he told them um, uh, events that were going to take place on earth. All right. And um, that was going to have to be fulfilled in, in, this, in this time, in this time period, man. All right. And. We all know that, you know, uh, we're not going to receive the kingdom until, you know, the all, uh, until a lot of these major events get fulfilled. Which you have some prophecies that took place already, and then you have some that's currently taking place, and then you have some that's going to take place in the near future. All right, and uh, one of those things is going to take place in the near future before, or well, a few of those events that's going to take place uh, in the near future before we receive the kingdom is um, uh, the MOB, which brother should know what that is, and then um. You know, uh, uh, you got uh, World War Three and and, and and race riots and stuff like that, man. All right, famine of the word, et cetera, et cetera. All right, but it says, uh, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. All right, meaning they're gonna accomplish what uh whatever the Lord has um slated slated for, man. All right, there's just some of the prophecies I just named, man. All right, um, it says, it says, but at that day and hour, know of no man. Not the angels of heaven, but my father only, man. So not even, you know, not even Yahweh Shah himself, our 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 Lord and Savior. He does he does he doesn't even know uh you know when uh when he when he's gonna come back. But he but he does um uh but the Heavenly Father did give us signs to pay attention to, man. All right. And a lot of those signs happen in the heavens, all right. We know with uh you know, so called solar system, the sun, the moon, like you know, whether it be blood moons or you know, uh, you know, you know, various different things like that, man. But they, they, the Lord gives us signs, man. All right. It says, um, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. And if you pay attention to, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, the individuals around you, the people, humanity, all right, it, it, they, they pretty much going to be living, they're going to be living like this until the heavenly father, uh, sends back your shy. What do I mean by living like this? It's going to be business as usual. All right, these people are going to continue to live their lives as if nothing has happened, whether they're acknowledging it or not, or whether they're just trying to ignore it. They're going to continue to live like this, man. All right, because like my man Mr. Smith said in um in the Matrix, he said denial was one of the predict one of the most predictable of all human responses. So rather people truly want to acknowledge what we're saying, or they just want to uh you know they want to remain ignorant and be in a blissful state, regardless of the fact is that these things are going to come to pass, man. Like I'll say that in uh, Romans. For what if some did not believe? Let me get that real quick, man. Uh, Romans 3 and 3, 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid, meaning meaning God no, or or, or, no, or power no. Yea, let, let, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged, man. So yeah, these these, these precepts, man, are coming into life, are coming more to life as as the days go past. And we can see that the, uh, the end is near, man. All right, you had that recent uh, situation happen um, uh, with the boarding passes. I forget where it's at, but uh, you know, basically, uh, they want they want the. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, hold it. ID pass. Passport. Yeah, but when you type in, uh, when you, it's something to do with this, man. But people basically, um, they're not gonna allow you to travel unless you get, unless you have this passport, man. But it was, it was something, something over there recently, man. But basically, this is what it's coming to. It's going, and that's going to, that's going to eventually, uh, 
that's going to eventually <laughs> manifest into the uh uh to the to the you know to the chip man, which is written in Revelation thirteen chapter man. All right, but I I, I it's it when you, it's a video I wanted to show, but Lord willing I just probably post it. Um, I would do like a part two, but you know whatever. Um. Going back to Matthew 24 and 38, it says, For as it, for as in the days uh, that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So that says a lot. Of, uh, they, they're giving you some insight on what happened during the, I mean, before the flood. Before the flood, man, you know what I mean? Noah was, you know, preaching, you know, talking, telling people that the flood was going to happen this down the third. But what were they doing? They were just, it was business as usual. People was living their life. Doing whatever the hell they wanted to do, you know what I mean? Giving in a marriage, having sex, orgies, you know what I'm saying? Having, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, committing bestiality, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much any and everything that you think of that's a bombo in the sight of the Lord, they were doing it. How do I know that? Because it said that in Genesis, the sixth chapter, it says, for all flesh did corrupt his way, all right? They were just living like brute beasts, you know what I mean? And, and the sons of God included, you know what I'm saying? But you had, you know, Noah... You know what I'm saying? And his, and his sons and their wives, all right, and then the animals that the Lord say, but Noah and his sons and their wives, they they was they symbolized the elect at that time, cause you had a lot of our of our people just going the fuck off. So the Lord only found it necessary to save Noah and his sons, man. And out of that came uh, the repopulation of the world. It says verse thirty nine. It says and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the. <laughs> wow, man. That, that says a lot right there. It says, and knew not until the flood came. Why? Because they were they wasn't preoccupied with what was happening concerning prophecy, concerning the things that was spoken spoken by a prophet, which was Noah at that time. It says, and took them and took and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, man. So it's gonna be literally that same situation. It's people gonna be living their lives, you know what I mean? Um you know, uh, like I said, just, you know, pretty much partying and BSing and just, you know, just living their root, they're pretty much that basic routine, that, that same routine that they've been living, you know what I mean, prior to the Lord coming. So it's going to be the same situation. You know what I'm saying? It says, verse 40, then, sh uh, then shall two be in the field, the one shall the one shall be taken and the other left. I mean, you, got, you know, the ones that slated for uh, destruction and what they're going to die and the ones that slated for salvation going to um, get beamed up. It says, uh, two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. I just broke that down. Uh, it says, uh, watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord do have come. And part of us watching is paying attention to the signs, man. Pay attention to what the Lord said in the scriptures. I know sometimes we all get distracted, but we got to maintain, um, you know, uh, you know, maintain our, 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 our position, our being a watchman. It says, uh, uh, but know this, that if the good men of the house had known and would watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh, man. You know what I mean? So let me keep continuing a little bit more. So it says, be, it says, therefore, be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man cometh. You got to be ready. You got to be. You gotta, you know, what I mean, you gotta have your your spirit, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, pretty much cleansed as much as possible, pursuant to your measure, and uh, you know, getting yourself uh, ready for the coming of the coming of the Lord, man, because it's not gonna be an easy ride for none of us. You know, what I'm saying it's gonna be a, a pretty much a, a lot of hell that's gonna come come with the day of the Lord, but we pray that He have the Heavenly Father and His Son uh, have mercy on us, man, all right, for doing His will and and trying our best to not um, live like these 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 monsters out here, man. It says, uh, verse 45, it says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? <laughs> Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So you want to be that, you want to be that servant, man, that, that, that was doing the work uh, before the Lord came. You know what I'm saying? And not trying to be, a, you know, a person at the end of the day, I mean, at, at, the, at the end, trying to, um, you know, throwing that garment and, uh, you know, show the Lord you was doing the work. You want to be already in that spirit. Verse 47, verily I say unto you that he shall make him rule over all his goods. I mean, he gonna give him power. He gonna give him, you know, dominion. That's what, that's what we're fighting for. But if but and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delay of his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servant to eat and drink with the drunkard. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not 
for him in an hour an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and pour him his portion with the hypocrites where shall it says there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth and you want to make sure you're not that guy man that don't you know that that that's that's pretty much like oh man the lord ain't coming you know he ain't he ain't he ain't, he ain't coming back no time soon so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just you know fall in line and uh, follow a multitude to do evil man i'm gonna do as as these people man as they say when in rome do as do as the romans you don't want to be like that guy man you want to you want to be doing the will of the Lord. You want to, um, you know, do your best to try to um, stay uh, grounded in these scriptures and, and, you know, just try to stay out of out of the ways of Babylon, man. You know, and with that, I'm saying shalom.